right, well, we're driving along. I'm making a stop over here. Um, Lucky's in the back, laying down on his place, and he's doing really well. Um, he needed to be corrected for jumping up and uh, getting into the front, trying to run when we first stopped. But right away, he got it. He got right back down, and so he's not happy having to sit down, lay down, and be in his one spot in the car, um, but too bad. <laughs> um, the car is like a huge, being in the car and stopping to, uh, you know, to when it's time to stop and get out of the car is like a major trigger for him um, to just completely lose it. So um, he's doing really well, but um, what I was just thinking about was he's practiced this. This would be impossible for him to do without all the practice he's done at home, on place, with distractions outside in the yard, um, just learning, learning, uh, you know, everywhere so that it's not that big of a deal to transfer it to in the car, which is his biggest trigger. That's where the big problem is. So if I would have just tried to go straight for the car and get him to behave in the car, it'd be so much harder for him without him, um, having practiced being able to be calm and, and understanding place and down no matter what um, in the easy places that are easier for him to be able to work up to doing it in the place that's the huge trigger where he just goes off and loses his mind. So there he is doing good here. I'm going to open the door and see if we get any reaction out of him. Pretty good. He stayed down take the keys out. So I'm gonna get out and he's doing super good. Walk away from the car, back in. Good, good. Okay, so I'm not gonna let him out this time because I'm just making a pretend stop. But anyway, Lucky's doing Pretty good at this. <laughs> good boy.